Welcome to another video here at the Washington Football Maniacs channel. If you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing. I try to put out content on a regular basis. And with that said, let's get into today's content. So the Washington football team is going to take a big swing at a quarterback in this offseason. And a lot of us Washington football fans are just sitting here going, duh, of course you are. You need a quarterback. We saw in the playoffs this year why you need a franchise quarterback, or at least a quarterback that is as close to a franchise quarterback <clears throat> as you can possibly get. Now, of course, there have been reports that Ron Rivera really likes Jimmy Garoppolo. No, Lord, please no. I'm sorry, I'm not a big Garoppolo fan. I think that he is okay as maybe like a game manager. The problem is, is that he can make some good passes, but he makes some really dumb, uh, and maybe I shouldn't say dumb, but he just he just makes some odd decisions. Um, case in point, this past game, uh, Garoppolo is uh, he's scrambling out to the right. He's he's looking the pass at this time. If there's nobody really open, you just throw the ball away and live to see another play, right? Instead, he turns back and he throws back in the middle, and the pass almost got intercepted. I'm sorry, but you know he's been in the Super Bowl before. He he's been a part of uh, the San Francisco 49ers for several years now, and I think I think at this point in the career, you don't make those type of throws. Uh, you you don't. Not if you're going to be a franchise quarterback. You just you understand that those throws are very dangerous. And yes, I realize the what was on the line. I mean, this was a conference championship game, but at the same point, you don't throw passes like that and stay in the NFL for very long, to be honest, or stay as a starter in the NFL for very long. So if Washington takes a big swing and actually connects and, you know, brings Jimmy Garoppolo to D.C., I think a lot of fans are really going to be upset. You're already seeing fans upset with the new name, and they haven't even officially named the new name or revealed the name yet. We've got that tomorrow at the time of the taping of this video it's tomorrow that the new name comes out. So you already have fans who are upset over that. And anything positive that we hear about Jimmy Garoppolo, fans are just like, no, please, no. If, so help me if Ron Rivera does this, he is going to be so disconnected from reality and all this stuff. And, yeah, I, I have to say I'm in that camp. I don't want Jimmy Garoppolo here in Washington. I don't. I, I, I think if you're truly going to make a big swing – and that translation, as far as I'm concerned, means that you're not going after a quarterback that you can easily get. You're going after one of the top dog quarterbacks, whether if it's going to be in the draft or whether if it's going to be in free agency or trade. You're going to try to get a Russell Wilson. You're going to try to get an Aaron Rodgers, although I'm not sure if Aaron would really want to come to Washington. Um, I've already said that I think that Russell Wilson is going to be the guy that Washington is going to try to, to bring in. And uh, truly, I think he's the best option out of everybody. Um, I think if you start to look at guys like Teddy Bridgewater, you know, guys like that, they're good quality quarterbacks, but they're not franchise quarterbacks. In my opinion, they're not. So I really think a big swing means you're going after Russell Wilson. You're going after Aaron Rodgers. You're – you're going after the top-tier quarterbacks who could be and probably will be available in this offseason uh, via trade, um, via um, free agency, or if it's the draft. And so that's my thought process, of course. I'm, I'm a little bit more of an optimist, so I really feel that you know Ron Rivera listens to his fans. I think he does. I like Ron Rivera, and I really think he, he realizes that fans are going to be excited. Most fans, not all, most fans would be excited to see a Russell Wilson come to town. 
Um, I think that most fans would be excited to see Aaron Rodgers, even though that you're probably not going to have Aaron Rodgers playing football for you for more than a couple of years because, I mean, he's pretty much at the tail end of his career. So, and of course, you know, the Snyders would be happy to see guys like that because it means butts and seats. It means that people will come out to watch an Aaron Rodgers. They will come out to watch a Russell Wilson. I'm not sure how much they'll come out to see, you know, Teddy Bridgewater or or a uh, Jimmy Garoppolo or any guys like that. Um, or uh, Trubisky. I, I, I just don't think I don't think fans are going to come out to see guys like that. They're going to come out to see the Wilsons and the Rodgers of the league. So that's what I think is going to happen. Um, we definitely need a quarterback. We're not going to roll into this third season under Rivera with Taylor Heineke under center. It's just not going to happen. Um, you know, we like Taylor Heineke. He is a fantastic backup. He is not a franchise quarterback, and that is what Washington needs. Now, you know, the last last point on that certainly is if you get a guy like Aaron Rodgers, obviously he is a franchise quarterback, but he is not going to be a guy that's going to be on your team for the next 10 years. So you're still going to have to be looking for your franchise quarterback within the next couple of years. Now, it would save you from having to draft a quarterback or having to to give away a lot to draft a quarterback in this draft. Well, you know, the thing is, you're probably going to have to wind up giving up first-round draft picks if you trade for anybody like an Aaron Rodgers. And I don't even know what his contract is, so um, I don't think he's a free agent. Uh, I think he would have to be traded. So... By saying that, you know, the Packers would expect first-rounders, certainly for a Hall of Fame, future Hall of Fame quarterback like Aaron Rodgers. So um, (laughs) you wouldn't be drafting a high-round quarterback in the next couple, at least, um, drafts anyway because you're not going to have first-round draft picks. So do you go that route? You know, Washington seems like they have tried everything. Um, I think at this point you do, you do, do the, do, 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 do. <laughs> wow. That's why I need a more coffee. That's why I think it is good to say that the Washington, the Washington, I am so glad that these videos are unedited because it, hopefully it gives you folks uh, a look into why Edited videos are so much better, <laughs> but I'm trying to get a good video out to you guys, and I don't always have time to really put forth great efforts into uh, editing, so this is kind of a one-shot, on-the-fly, almost live thing, so anyway, I digress. Um, so I think that the team will most definitely swing as hard as they possibly can, And guys need to to remember, Washington, Ron Rivera tried to go after Matthew Stafford last offseason. The team offered a first-rounder and a third-rounder for Matthew Stafford, which honestly I thought was a pretty decent deal. It's just that the Rams were willing to give up everything, a king's ransom for Matthew Stafford, and it's paid off for them. They're, They're in the Super Bowl. So... You know, you have to look at it and be like, okay, this is going to be our future. You know, if we're going to get an Aaron, uh, well, yeah, if we're going to get an Aaron Rodgers, but I'm I'm on the thought process more of, you know, if we're going to get a Russell Wilson, somebody who literally could play for us for another five years, then you are going to have to give up a king's ransom for Russell Wilson. So I think that Washington has to go all in if they are going to get someone like Wilson. And you're going to have to court him hard, man. I mean, you're going to have to really convince him beyond 120% that things in Washington, the culture is so much more different than what it was and that the team really isn't that far off. They just need you to come in to lead them. And that may not be too far from the truth. I mean, honestly, if we had, if we had Ryan Fitzpatrick, 
healthy this past season, I really truly think we would have probably netted a couple of more wins, probably wouldn't have been in the playoffs. You know, I mean, I don't know for sure, but I really feel like that Ryan Fitzpatrick was going to be that excellent uh, bridge quarterback that kept the team in the playoffs until they were ready to draft their franchise quarterback. And now they're in the position where, well, you get Russell Wilson, he's going to be the difference maker. You know, you're going to have your guys like Chase Young hopefully back and healthy in this next season. So, um, you know, you're getting your superstars back, hopefully. Uh, you know, we're going to need a good tight end because Logan Thomas is likely not going to be ready to go, you know, day one in this next season. So, you know, Wilson will need a few more targets, a few more weapons, but you do have Terry McLaurin that he can pass to and, you do have some young wide receivers who are dependable, guys like um, Sims, Cam Sims, love him to death. You know, uh, Adam Humphreys, he has always been Mr. Dependable. And, well, I mean, even John Bates, you know, we do talk about tight ends, but, um, you know, John Bates, he really came around. So there are some attractive things for a quarterback to come in and say, hey, I can play with these guys. And I, you know, call me an eternal optimist, but I think being a pessimist doesn't equal being realistic. I just think sometimes you're just pessimist, or you're just, yeah, you're just a pessimism. <laughs> you're just pessimistic to be pessimistic. Now, was that so hard to say? All right. I am going to go before I really tongue-tie myself even more. But think about it. And also think about this tomorrow. A new name. What's it going to be? I think it's going to be the Washington... <laughs>